flea beetle damage. And how you know you got flea beetles, and I know when I got flea beetles because you can see the damage. First of all, let's take a look at the flea beetle. If I can get this thing to focus, right? Anyway, as you can see, my potato plant is infested with flea beetles. And really, the only way to get rid of these things is to just go in there and pinch them off. Yeah, you could spray neem oil on it. You could spray neem oil on it, and that kind of helps keep them off. But once you spray the neem oil on this plant, they will start to go on to your other plants. So if you got a flea beetle infestation, like these potatoes I'm letting grow because they're acting as a sacrificial plant for me to keep the flea beetles on that and instead of eating my other plants and you can see if I pan you around they aren't on any of my other plants you might see one here and there uh, the turnip damage is from slugs that's a whole different issue I got to set up a slug trap we got an immense amount of slugs this year but the flea beetles are generally staying on my potatoes and I don't really care about the potatoes because I didn't really want them to be in here this year and I dug all my potatoes out and they keep coming up every year no matter how far down I dig them they keep coming up and I'm sure more are gonna pop up because some of them are really deep in the ground and they come up like you know midsummer you'll start seeing these big shoots pop up out of nowhere so I'm really hoping that doesn't happen and I did pull a couple of the potato plants out that were I was lucky to pull them up and the potato came up that was attached to it so I did manage to get rid of a couple but they keep coming up but this video is not about the potato plant but it kind of is because the flea beetles are literally attacking my potato plants and you can see the flea beetle damage what it does is it just they just leave all these spots all over the leaves. I'll show you one that's really bad. But I'm trying to get a good shot of a flea beetle. That's the flea beetle. And if you see I go near him, see how he jumps? That is what flea beetles do. They jump just like fleas. Okay? And if they infest, it, what happens is they start off, you'll see like maybe a half dozen of them around here. And in about two weeks, your entire plant will be absolutely covered with them, literally. It just, it, they can devastate your garden. Those little tiny little insects can actually just devastate your garden. So here's one that's much worse. Okay. This one is much, much worse. And I'll show you one that's even worse than that. Okay. That's how bad the damage can be. Now these potato leaves are very, very durable. They can really take a beating. It takes a lot for them to eat a hole through these leaves. But as I'm looking around here, I see thousands of them. And this is this is where they start to spread like you wouldn't believe. So these are going to have to either be removed or I'm going to have to spray this maybe with neem oil or something like that. But it's very hard to control flea beetles. Because like I say, you can chase them off of one plant and next thing you know, you'll see them all over your garden eating everything. For some reason, or they're specifically attracted to the potato plant this year. I don't really care about the potatoes. If they want to just stay in the potatoes, I wouldn't care less about it. But I'm hoping that once a potato dies, that they don't go from that to the rest of my garden, which I just recently planted out. And by the time these plants get bigger, I don't want them to be, you know, eaten up by the flea beetles. All right. So yeah, this is just a quick video on the flea beetle. Just kind of wanted to show you the flea beetle, the damage they do. And my suggestion to controlling them is probably neem oil. It would be your best bet. You can buy a chemical spray if you want. Um, sometimes you have to do that, guys, no matter how organic you want to be. Sometimes you just absolutely have to use something specifically to kill a, a certain kind of a pest. And if the flea beetles are getting really bad, buy it I don't know what else to say you know just either that or remove the plant because they're not going to go away and I find that sometimes no matter how much you spray them it, they just keep coming back so you know do what you have to do to get rid of that problem but the more what I will say about uh, say flea beetles or most uh, insects in general 
that are a problem in your garden, the more you remove them, the more you eradicate them, the less prominent they are the next year. If you just leave this go and don't do anything about it and you let them just go haywire and spread all over the place and multiply, you'll see that the next year will be 10 times worse. So the more you control that pest in your garden, the less you're going to see that pest in your garden. Less and less to the point where you won't really even see it anymore. So just keep that in mind when you're dealing with your insect control. But like I said, this video is specifically about the flea beetle. And as you can see right there, that little black dot, that is your flea beetle. All right, so hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.